my kitchen. Today we'll be making these delicious cheesy and bacon stuffed biscuits. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Let's get into it. To get started, let's go over the ingredients. I have some Grand's biscuits, half a stick of butter, some chives, garlic, sharp and mozzarella cheese, well, sharp cheddar and mozzarella, some bacon, and I'll show you how to put it together. Now, to get started, I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic to my butter. I'm going to go ahead and melt, get that melt. Okay, we have our butter and garlic in, and that's nice and melted. I'm going to go ahead and add some chives. I'm not going to add any salt because cheese is salty, and I'm adding bacon with it, so the bacon is salty. That butter, I believe that was salted butter, so I'm not going to do any salt, but I would like to add some black pepper. I'm going to go ahead and get that a mix, and that is ready to go. We're going to set that aside and work on our biscuits. Now, you want to get the biscuits that come in the layers because what we're going to do is we're going to pull them apart. So you find that seam and you pull it apart. Show you guys one more. And make sure your biscuits are cold. Just take them fresh out the refrigerator and then do it. Don't have them sitting out. Now you just want to get your butter and spread it on each one. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of that bacon and put some bacon down on each one. Now, the bacon is optional if you don't want to use the bacon. You can totally skip this step and just add the cheese. And this is a pork bacon, but if you want to use a turkey or a beef bacon, that's fine. It's your kitchen. Who's going to stop you? Use what you like. Okay, now that we have our bacon on, you're going to go ahead and go down with your cheese. And again, I'm using mozzarella and sharp cheddar because that's what I like. But you decide what cheese you like and use it in yours. And you want to kind of like fold that over and close it up. Pinch it and form it into a ball. Pinch that end, make sure it's closed up. And then roll it. Just like that, and I'll show you guys a few more. Roll that on over. Bring it up. Get out a pinch. And roll it. I forgot to tell y'all to spread the biscuits out too a little bit. That way it'll be easier to manage. I got ahead of myself. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Players mess up too. Players mess up too. Step I missed, when you want to spread it out, just pull the dough apart a little bit. Not too much because you don't want to break it or you don't want to tear it. And then that's after that, that's when you add the butter. And then the next steps. And once you have your balls all rolled, I'm using my carrot sign. Now you don't want to use a cookie sheet because they won't rise up and you want these to rise up and not flatten. Gonna place this down. And when I cook my bacon, the fat that was rendered, I put that down in my cast iron. But if you wanna, you know, you can go ahead and use your butter to grease your skillet with. Now we're gonna take that same garlic butter and we're gonna just brush over the top of each one. And you want these close too, guys. You want these close together. Ooh, this garlic butter smells good. And now we're gonna add some more cheese on the top. Okay, you want to kind of push that cheese down in the crack just slightly. We're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 15-20 minutes. Everyone has different ovens. 
everything cooks differently. So when you see that it's golden brown and biscuits it's done, pull it out. Once you bring them out the oven, go ahead and put some more of your garlic butter on it. Look at that. Now y'all know I can't leave y'all without that first bite. Take a bite. Get you some of that cheese. Get you some of that bacon. Look at that. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Football is coming up. These will make a great appetizer. Or you can serve it along with my taco spaghetti. It's on my channel. And I'll put the link down below. Y'all know the vibe. Be blessed.